Let me show you a neat trick that will make your lighting decisions much easier. When you work with the light, you want to get rid of distractions like colors and textures. And in order to do that, we need to create an override material. It's really simple and easy. All you need to do is to create any kind of mesh. I will go with the sphere, just move it somewhere here and go to the materials and create a new one. This is it. I will name it clay because it will look like a clay and I will just add a tint of the orange tone, something like that, a little bit. By the way, you can set any color you want. And this is it. Now we can hide the sphere and all we need to do is to make sure that we are in the cycles render engine, all right? And then go back here to the layers, go all the way down to material override and just put your clay material, simple as that. And now you can see we have the same material on all objects here. If we go back to the sphere and the material to clay one, you can go and play with this. You can set any color you want, any preferences here. It can be metallic, it can be less or more rough. You can set like, wow, it's a really cool gold color, but I like to have it like that. And now I can play with the light much easier without these distractions. So now I can see how the light will shape our models here. And when I'm happy with the result, for example, I'm happy with this kind of result, maybe a little bit up like that, I can go back to the layers, right? And let's hide this, I can go back to the layers, all the way down to material override and just cancel the clay. And here I have a beautifully lit scene, just how I like it. So yeah, this is it and uh, it helps a lot. Also, you can render something like this, a clay render. This is really popular to show your work in progress or just how this looks as a clay render and having the transition from a clay to a textured. Also, that material can be anything. So for example, you can see I can set my stone material, wall material to everything, or I can set anything else it will affect that. So it doesn't need to be this color. It can be anything that you want. The same thing I'm doing in Photoshop when I'm painting the light on my models here on my scene. What I like to do is to put black and white adjustment layer to get rid of distractions like colors here. And I'm just working with the light with the brightness and uh, contrast. And this is how I like to paint the light on my scene. When I finish, I turn off black and white adjustment layer and then I have it here. If you find this helpful, let me know down there in the comments and see you in the next one video. Bye bye.